what's going on? It's Dr. Gonzalo Boogie here once again for another DVD and VHS update. And this is actually going to be a really small update because I actually only have one thing to show in this video. And it's a DVD, but it's a DVD that I've been wanting to get for as long as I can remember since I've been collecting DVDs hardcore. And if you've read the title, you already know what DVD I'm about to show. It's the Suspiria 3 disc collector set, limited edition. And this has been an Anchor Bay DVD that I've wanted to get for so long. I remember when I first started to watch people doing um, DVD and VHS videos on YouTube. It was probably like five, six years ago back when YouTube was still kind of new. And I remember there was hardly anybody doing updates and stuff. It was way less people than it is now. Now it's a whole community with you know thousands of people who do DVD and VHS updates now. But I remember when I first started watching on the computer this was this was years before I even started to do updates I've only been doing videos for two going on like three years now but I remember it was like only a couple people like Cool Duder and Mr. Parker who are two of my favorites to watch to this day and then there was another another guy called like Dark Angel and they would show off all of their um, Anchor Bay DVDs and everything and I remember everybody kept showing off this DVD and I just, I've been wanting this for so long, but it, this is one of those DVDs that's really expensive. And I've been trying to find it used for a good price, and I wanted it to include everything. And it's hard to find a DVD like this with everything included, because it comes with a lot of inserts. And I was lucky to find this for a really good price, for, with, and it came with everything. I got this DVD for less than $20 altogether with shipping and everything, so I thought it was a really good deal. So this is just, this is a treasure in my collection and this is a DVD that I've wanted for so long that it feels so good to have this and you know I'm going to stop rambling on about my history behind this and I'm just going to show you guys the DVD and mine is actually number 18,583 out of 60,000 so that's you know pretty early on in the release too so that's pretty cool and this is a three disc set. The first disc is just the normal Anchor Bay Suspiria release, the one disc, it's just the same disc. The second disc is a 25th anniversary documentary, which I haven't seen yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And then the third disc is actually the Goblin soundtrack, which is so cool, because I love progressive rock music, and I really think Goblin does some awesome soundtracks, and Suspiria, I think, is one of their best soundtracks they ever did. So this is what the inside of this set looks like. It's the first disc with its massive amount of inserts. Came with over like 10 inserts, which is just one of the awesome things about Anchor Bay releases, and especially this release right here. And that's the uh, second disc and the soundtrack album. So really cool. Um, one thing that did disappoint me is one of the um, one of the plastic things that holds the inserts in broke off the one at the top actually broke while during shipping I'm guessing I actually have the piece right here so that is disappointing because I love this set and I was hoping to get it as mint as I could but the discs are in mint condition the case is in good condition other than that the broken part and it came with all the inserts so I was happy Either way, and this is everything it came with. Mine came with this little sticker, which I, I don't know if this came with the DVD originally because I got mine used, so I don't know, but it came with this VHS Lives sticker. And then I'm just going to go through and show you guys the uh, inserts. First off here comes with this booklet, which is really cool. And, of course, Anchor Bay booklets are just always so awesome. The Ladies of the Academy, what is this, like the Ladies of the Evil Dead type thing, you know, I, I love how Anchor Bay always does weird stuff with their inserts, but just really awesome, great pictures from the movie, some cool stuff in here, just awesome, you know, Let's see what else we got in here. Some interviews, yeah, I haven't read through the booklet yet, but I'll have to. Looks like um, it's got some interviews with some people who definitely had stuff to do with the movie. 
but just some great pictures. Suspirious is one of those movies that looks so good. It's one of my favorite slasher movies ever, just because it's more than just your ordinary slasher movie. I mean, the lighting, just everything about the movie is just great. It's it's one of my favorite horror movies in general ever, so that's another reason I'm so glad to finally get this set. And a little page at the end for, with some goblin stuff. So that's cool. And then it comes with the insert. And this is the same insert that comes with the single edition of Suspiria. Which I also have the Anchor Bay single edition. And then it came with these. Um, these are like reproductions of like lobby cards, I'm pretty sure. And this is what I got here. This one. These are all just really cool. Again, just really cool. No, uh, just this movie just looks so great, and the pictures just you know show that so well. And then the last couple ones here. And that is the complete set. It comes with, I think I counted in, I think it was about like eight or nine of these lobby cards. And then it comes with the insert and the booklet. So I was extremely happy to finally get this in the mail. I actually, it only took about two days to come after they shipped it. So I was also real happy about that. So this is one of the best purchases I've gotten all year. And I'm gonna, gonna keep this DVD for my life, so really happy about this and um you know just for a deep for me being a for one of the for my anchor bay collection this is like a um like a dream come true i'm really glad i finally went out and bought this i was you know i felt like i had held off for too long i guess is what i'm trying to say so that was the Spiria set, and that's all I had to show this week. I actually went to some thrift stores and other places and looked around, but I didn't really find any DVDs or VHSs. I did pick up a couple records and CDs over the weekend, but nothing, um, no DVDs or tapes, which I was surprised because usually around this time of year on Halloween in thrift stores, they usually have their horror tapes together or set up, but so far none of the thrift stores around me really have any movie section for Halloween stuff yet. But that is the Suspiria 3 disc, and um, I, I have some videos planned for later this month um, and for October. And if anybody um, saw my last video, I said I was going to do a, a like four or five parter where I talked about my entire horror DVD collection. And I'm actually going to hold off on that right now. I just I feel like I've done videos similar to that before, and it just I, I feel like it would take too much time to film and all that. So I actually. What I plan on doing for Halloween is I'm going to do a new video where I talk about my Inker Bay collection just because since last year, which around this time last year I did my last Inker Bay video, I've gotten a lot of Inker Bays, probably like 10, maybe even close to 15 new Inker Bays since last year. So I feel it's about time to do an update on my Inker Bay and, and th those are my favorite DVDs to collect. So every year I like to do an update on my Anchor Bay collection so that's actually one of the next videos I plan on filming is my my Anchor Bay collection as it is now my Anchor Bay horror collection so that'll be one of my next videos and I do want to do a video sequel to I did I recently did a video where I talked about my entire horror VHS collection I plan on doing a sequel to that where I talk about my entire science fiction collection um, on VHS so that would be interesting, and I'm looking forward to getting that video filmed soon. And so, um, yeah, so, uh, and I'm also really looking forward to getting the Anchor Bay one up, because I love my Anchor Bay DVDs. I love to talk about them, so I'm looking forward to doing that Anchor Bay video. So that was it for this week with the update. And like I said, really small update, probably the smallest update I've ever done with only one thing to show. But I felt like with this box set, or this, this three-disc, um, limited edition set was so nice. I felt like it, it deserved its own video. I wasn't sure what I was going to do at first, if I was going to show my Argeno collection, but I figured I would just do the update and show show this. So, um, you know, so again, you know, thank you guys for watching the video, and, you know, if you like it, 
give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and see you next time.